Hi everyone, Joe here. Let's start with the basics of dream building. If you live another 365 days, you have created a whole new year of life. Well, do you want to do that by design or in, and, and use a life that is absolutely invigorating and enlightening? Or do you want to just let life happen to you? And again, you are at choice. That, and actually, that's how some people do it. They just let life happen. Not because they're bad people, but because they aren't aware of what to do. So in your work, in your business, in your life, you probably have a vision. And that is your dream. And that is your dream building on it. So when you want your vision to come true, you need to work on it. And there is a process. So let's start with the first step. And the first step is honoring your discontent. You know, every dream and every dream builder learns how, you're, learns how to marry their discontent with their yearning. When you are yearning for something, that's usually what is the end of your vision. That is your vision or your purpose or your dream. And you can marry the yearning or find out through the yearning what your dream is. And we are living in this wonderful universe that is ever, it's a spiral universe and it is ever expanding and going through us and causing us to want to create more and more in our life. And living life to a more freer, fuller and expanded version. How many times have you seen so a gra some grass growing through, just pushing through cement or pushing through asphalt? Because it wants to create that life. It wants to succeed. It wants a fuller, freer life, an expanded life, or wouldn't be pushing through there. It is the same with you. You have to start with basics. A master builder, go to a master builder and what he will tell you is that there are some basic tools that you will need. Oh, perhaps a saw, a hammer, nails, a screwdriver, um, and of course some wood and plans for what you are building. And maybe you want to start with something simple, a box perhaps, and then graduate maybe to a, a cutting board and to a chair or to um, a, a desk, and then maybe a shed, a cottage, a house, and maybe even a magnificent cathedral. But whatever it is, there are basics that are involved. And there are basics involved in dream building as well. So the first part again, as I said, is honoring your discontent. And how do you know what your discontent is? Well, perhaps it's, it's what you are struggling with, what you're anxious about what is getting in your way and stopping you dead in your tracks. Whatever that discontent is, you can take a look at it and at the end of that is your yearning. The opposite end of that, whatever that discontent is, your yearning is your dream. And so honor that discontent because you can ask yourself, if I want to get out of this, what is the plan? And how do I get out of this? How does it serve me to go beyond this and into what I would call my dream or my vision? So take a look at what you what it maybe is your discontent even today. Maybe it's something small and, and nothing to be concerned about, but take a look at it even further. See what the yearning is there. And that is part of the basics of your dream building. Look at your discontent and the opposite, your yearning. Marry the two together, and that is step one. Take care. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. God bless.